Welcome to this video about getting images ready to be searched with the CSIPix case APHIS. With the CSIPix case APHIS, you can search directories of images. It doesn't use a database. A searchable directory contains pairs of images and min files. Min files are created during the enrollment process. Images can be any common format, JPEG, JPEG 2000, WSQ, TIFF, bitmap, Check the manual or contact us for a full list. So what you need are pairs of images and min files like I show here. Before I get into the enrolling process, I need to cover the image requirements. Each image must be calibrated and the resolution must be between 300 and 2000 ppi. If you're interested in what your image resolution is, if it's calibrated, underneath the image when it's open in CSI pics, you'll see the resolution right here. The images can be color or grayscale, but the ridges need to be darker than the background. So min files contain minutia point location and direction data. You need to annotate with bifurcation or ridge ending symbols. You can't use dots or circles because dots and circles don't have the directional component that we need. Min files can also contain information like core and delta locations, the print source, whether it's from a finger, palm, or foot. The subject's name and sex. And if the source is a finger, it can contain finger number and pattern classification. If the source is a palm, the hand, like the right or left hand, or the area from which the impression was taken can be entered. This type of data is really useful for filters, which will speed up your searching. So the process to get a directory ready to be searchable is you just create a new folder. You copy previously scanned images or photographs into that directory. To create a min file for each image in the directory, you can do them one by one, and that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. To do it that way, you open one of the images, you click APHIS on the menu bar, then Enroll Single. You use the Enroll dialog to mark features such as minutia points, cores, and deltas, and to input as much other information as you can. Then you click Save the min file before you move to the next image. When you click Enroll Single, this is the interface you'll see. Um, I'm not going to go through each button now, but you can refer to the manual or you can just refer back to this video. This is where you can run the auto minutia detection. You can manually edit what you've done. You can add cores and deltas with this section. In this interface there are two tabs. This is the first tab. If you click additional parameters, this is what you'll see. So here's where you can type in the person's name, their sex, the type of print, the source, and different details. When everything is added, you click Enroll, Save Minutia File, and the default is to save it with the same name as the image. Now I'll do a quick demo. So I've created a folder and I've moved some images into it. So I'll start with one of the finger images. Click on APHIS, Enroll Single, and you'll see the first page of the interface for Enroll Single. I'm going to run automatic minutia detection on the whole image. And now I can go in and clean it up a little. I can remove some false positives. You can use the Erase Minutia tool. That's good enough. Now I'm going to add the core and delta. Now I'm going to move to the second page. If I knew this person's name, I would type it in here. It's a known print. It's a finger. So I can put in the pattern and the finger number. Now I just click Enroll and I use the default where it just saves it under the same name as the image. Now I can move to the next image and do the same thing. If I was to enroll a palm Instead of running the minutia detection on the whole image, I would run it on a region. Now I 
would go in and look for things that need to be fixed up. Use my erase minutia here. And I can add more. I can use the ridge ending or bifurcation symbol, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter what color you use either. I can use the delete key to quickly remove things that are false positives. And there are keyboard shortcuts that you can use to quickly go back to draw mode once you're in edit mode, shift D. So I'm not going to fix it all up completely. I'll just add the delta. Now I'll go to the second page and enter the person's name. Now I can put in that it's a right palm and it's a writer's. So now if I go back to the folder you'll see that those two images have min files and if I go back and open up an image with a min file you'll see the cores and deltas and you can look back at the additional parameters. So there's more details about this in the manual. You can find the manual under help on the menu bar. The enroll single is the slowest way to enroll images, but it's the most thorough. There's a faster way called batch enrolling, and I encourage you to watch that video too. And of course you can do a combo of batch enrolling and enrolling single. Thank you for watching. Please reach out with questions or comments. Thank you.